Cookies, it's coffee time. I've actually had a lot of caffeine today. Can I admit that to you? If you were watching the TGS podcast, you already know this, but I'm still going to detail it to you. So this morning I went to the gym and I worked real hard at the gym. I worked so hard. My face was bright red. By the time we left, I was like, I feel like I really worked out today. Like I always feel like I worked out, but today I feel like I really worked out, you know? So we leave and I have to get ready for a shoot. So I like take my shower and everything. And then I go to this shoot and they have coffee there. So I'm like, I'll have a cup of coffee. Why not? It's still pretty early. And even though I went to the gym, turns out that sometimes the gym doesn't make you more excited and energetic for the day. Sometimes it just makes you real tired. So I have my little coffee and I finish the coffee and everybody else that's on set there is drinking Mountain Dew. And then I had Mountain Dew Envy. So I figured, why not just have a Mountain Dew? So then I had a Mountain Dew. And then it was pointed out to me that there was a bowl of Cooler Ranch Doritos just sitting there that no one was eating. And I thought, well, I mean, if they're just sitting there, they're going to go stale eventually. I might as well eat as many of those as I can while I'm here. So then I ate all of those. And then I had another cup of coffee. (laughs) So I had a lot of uh, sugars and lots of caffeines and just all sorts of things that made me impossible to deal with on the TGS podcast. So, sorry about that, TB. I think you're lovely, and I'm sorry you had so many internet problems. Oh my goodness, the podcast today was such a... So many things went wrong. It was awful, because, like, we got on there, and we did the first section, mostly, and then TB's internet just cut out. And again, he hosts, like, the call. It's his... Twitch channel that we're broadcasting on, so suddenly we just weren't podcasting anymore. We were like, okay! So, we sit there for a while, and I guess like, gosh, was it like a, like 20 minutes, something like that? I guess like 20 minutes later, TB finally gets back online, and he goes, we're probably going to be cancelled. And then he tweets out, we're cancelling. And I was like, all right. Okay, well then I'll I'll get up and start doing other things. So I started doing other things and I'm like walking around and like cleaning and starting to do laundry and I'm like, oh, what should I eat? I should like make something. And then I glance over at my phone and I see that um, um, my phone's being blown up, which is a slang way of saying that I had lots of text messages. So I look at my phone. And realize that um, TB had called his company, like the, the, the internet company that he has, called them and was like, look, this is not acceptable. And so they fixed it. <laughs> so I had all these text messages being like, just kidding, we're back on. Come back. Where are you? It's like, really? I just, just got into the swing of like domestic things. So came back and we did the rest of the podcast. We we did like an hour and a half straight and then just called it like we we only had the one the one really long break and then and then finished it up. So it was I mean it worked out in the end. At first I was going to feel bad because I thought there was a possibility that uh our guest was going to have to come back and do another one like we only got to do, you know, an hour instead of 3 hours. So, but it all it all worked out. It was all it was all okay. Thank goodness. Uh, yeah, and so I had that, and then, um, you know, make, making my, my news video, and, uh, I feel like there's something else that I wanted to mention, and I'm having a hard time remembering it. Do you remember? Do you remember what it was? You know, me neither. I can't remember either. Hmm. If I do, if I make that sound long enough, will I remember? Probably not. <laughs> there was like a huge conversation going on during the podcast on why I'm using these instead of, oh, you're filled with tissue right now. To find out why, watch the TGS podcast instead of these on the podcast because, okay, so I have, you know, I have these, these nice headphones and I love them. Um, 
But here's, here's from, from my perspective, here's how the conversation, like, escalated. So I had my earbuds in. Uh, now I'm using my earbuds instead of my big headphones because sometimes it gets very hot in our house. And I've noticed that if I'm wearing these for three hours, my head is just screaming. So instead I wear the earbuds. But what I do is like, like, you know, oh yeah, podcasting and whatever. And every now and then I'll do this and I'll like mess with my ear and then I'll like switch them. I'll put this one in and pull this one out and mess with my ear and whatever. And somebody was like, God, Dodger is so gross. She's like picking her ears. Gross. Like stop doing that. It's so disgusting. Here's the thing. Earbuds, unless they are the type that formed your ears, when you've had them in for a while, they start to hurt. They make your ears very sore. So Every now and then I swap them. I'll take one out at a time and then like do like this sort of stuff just to like stretch my ear out and then I'll I'll alternate back and forth so that my ears get some 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 cool down time is basically what I do. So to all to all any of you who were involved in that conversation, uh, that's what was going on. <laughs> Since there was so much concern like why isn't Dodger wearing the nice headphones? Why is she messing with her ears so much? Why is she wearing the earbuds? I was like, dang, guys, I'm getting real intense about my earbud choices. So now you know. Now you know all the deets, and you can rest easy tonight. There was something that I was going to talk about today, and I can't... This is going to drive me insane. I can't remember. I might um, start... There's a girl at Maker that I want to start bribing to teach me how to do makeup. <laughs> That's totally off topic, but I, I can like feel the makeup from the shoot this morning still on my face. And I really want, I was like, I need to take like a class for this. And she was like, I'll just teach you. And I was like, really? Cause I'll, I'll like take you to fancy meals. And she was like, okay. <laughs> so we're going to do fancy food in exchange for makeup tips because she was like, no, it's, I mean, like it's pretty for you. It'd be pretty simple. So she's going to teach me, she's going to teach me how like, do do legit makeup, which is going to be exciting. Because that way, if I need it, I can just do it, you know? I can just, I can just do it. That'll be magical. Also, there's a moth that's been living in my room, just kind of floating around every now and then for like three days. And every time I see him, I'm like, moth. I prefer moths to butterflies which I'm learning very quickly. The more people I tell that to, I'm learning that that is very rare and that there are many people who are creeped out by moths. I think because the only thing that I can possibly think of is that butterflies are all, you know, like like bright and colorful and happy looking and moths kind of look like butterfly skeletons, right? Like they're just like devoid of color, but they still have those really interesting patterns and they have very similar wings, but not the same span. And, uh, and so I always, I always feel like when people are creeped out by them, it's because they, they kind of look like the ghosts of butterflies, right? It's the only thing I can think of. I just think moths are so interesting though. I don't know. Butterflies like are so elegant all the time. They like, they land so softly and then their, their, their little wings like do, do this sort of stuff. Like, like, oh, oh, let's test Oh, let's test what's going on. I don't know anything. I don't know anything about insects, so this might not be what they're doing. But they're just like, oh, and then they fly away, right? Moths, they just kind of go, and then they land. And then they're still forever until they have to move again. And then they're like, okay, okay, ready? Okay, ready? One, two, like that's what it looks like to me. And I love it. They are so the opposite of the butterfly. <laughs> like, it's amazing. I just, I think moths are great. I think moths are great. And, uh, butterflies are also great. There was a, there was a butterfly when I was a little kid. I can't remember what I named it, but there's a type of butterfly that we had a lot of on our property. And so whenever I saw a butterfly that was yellow with black spots, I thought it was the exact same butterfly every time, which maybe it was, but I'm fairly certain it was not as an adult. And so every time I would see it, I'd be like, oh, she came to visit me. I could get really intense about it. I'd be like, daddy, daddy, 
my butterfly is here. And he'd be like, hmm. <laughs> and then my brother would do the thing where I'd be like, look, it's my butterfly. And he'd be like, oh, no, that's that's my butterfly. That's not yours. My butterfly is the older brother of your butterfly. They just look really similar. And I'd be like, no, what? That's not... That's not true. He's like, what? You think you're the only one who can have butterflies? Wow. <laughs> I was like, but, but. <laughs> I love my brother, by the way. <laughs> my brother is a great person. I do not mean that sarcastically in the slightest. But, uh, yeah. Some, fi some final thoughts on butterflies and moths. And now I am going to take off. But I hope that you guys had an amazing day. And I will talk to you again tomorrow. Bye-bye. Mwah!